Zeus. Evan, aka Elo. I'm a visual artist and designer. 2010, uh, I just graduated uh, high school and I was in or going uh, to Brazil um, with a couple high school friends. Um, and immediately when I was in Sao Paulo, I was just inspired by Os Jamios, um, or the famous uh, street artist um, from Brazil. I was just seeing their work all over the city um, and I just knew that I had a passion for this um, and it just was kind of cultivating all from there. So fast forward, I'm 26 now. Um, it's definitely been an eight year journey um, going from self-taught, not really knowing anything, picking up a spray can, um, just experimenting throughout the process looking at other artists for inspiration, trying out new things, uh, going to gallery shows, networking. Um, and that brings me to my first New York City solo show uh, upcoming in April. So definitely excited about the process. These are uh, latest series that I've been working on uh, called Hanging in the Balance. Um, so these are acrylic spray paint and oil on uh, steel plates that are encased within plexiglass sheets with um, brass bolts bringing uh, everything into place. Definitely heavy inspiration by artists around me. Um, abstract expressionism uh, that I gravitate towards as well as the everyday graffiti and street art that I encounter on the street. Um, living in Bushwick right now, I, I like to think that the walls are its own living, breathing gallery itself, where um, I could be seeing a mural in process one day and then next week, completely, although terrible tags scribbled over it, it's still a process of regeneration and growth um, until someone over paints a mural again. Um, so it's cool to see that as well as just artists um, from the early, 40s abstract expressionist movement um, like Rothko, Pollock, um, Frank Stella, all these guys are definitely inspiring me uh, still today. I'd say jazz and hip-hop culture, um, pop culture as well. Um, it's interesting, my work's so abstract that I have color schemes in mind but I generally don't know more or less how it's gonna end up. Um, it's all about just creating through a process and growing through experimentation to now knowing how I can control the canvas and the color scheme. Just to come across uh, the different uh, points that I'm trying to make um, and just basically make people feel an emotion or a vibe um, as they're seeing my work, which is generally colorful, chaotic, um, and just I'd say trying to make people feel something. I really enjoy um, just going off my stream of consciousness. And I think that people might be able to notice that, um, that within the works, it could seem that I'm really making it on the fly and it's all in tune with the mus music that I'm listening to at that time or how I'm personally feeling at that moment. Um, so when I'm in this studio surrounded by all of my work, um, it's just my zone, it's my happy place. It's, it's hard to explain. Um, there's really no other place or feeling quite like it uh, when you're in the flow and it's 2 a.m. on Saturday night and I wouldn't want to be anywhere else, really. There could be a couple days or so where I'm just not really feeling a creative energy, but then the next night I'm in the studio from 8 p.m. to 2 a.m. and it just goes like that. Um, just listening to different music, if it's jazz, hip hop, reggae, 
um, working on multiple pieces at once, just kind of bouncing around the studio, um, letting my own creativity express itself. So this is a new piece that I'm uh, premiering at Tambaran. Um, it's titled Above the Clouds. Um, so it's a mix of acrylic, oil, and spray paint in this um, kind of blended or smooth fashion uh, that you'll see in some of my other works. So this piece right here is uh, titled Be Easy. Um, so this is definitely um, a newer work that's a split series um, where this is kind of the graffiti that I'm seeing every day mixed with uh, some of the finer art um, blended version as well. As I've been in New York now for give or take five years, um, I definitely have a wide network of creatives um, who I've become friendly with over the years. If it's uh, fellow artists, musicians, photographers, people in fashion. Um, so I think I just feed off everyone's vibe that um, they're basically all going for a different hustle in that sense, but it's all from the same vibe and flow of curiosity to really push themselves and make something out of their own name. I think it's a really interesting time to be an artist um, and definitely there's new ways of becoming successful or known in different reaches that weren't possible even five years ago. Um, Instagram, for example, is huge where collectors are DMing you about your work or you're reaching out to gallerists or other consultants to work with each other. Um, it's just a really unique time where artists can use and creatives are using technology and the internet to really find the best resources to push their own careers. Um, so I'm definitely excited by um, just throughout the process of creating my own brand and seeing where I can take it in different uh, genres. It's exciting. I mean, um, I definitely think in grandiosity where I already know where I can potentially see myself in 10 years. Um, I'm just trying to work backwards and put it all into play. But um, if it's I'm working on physical canvases or I'm commissioned for a mural or doing a fashion collaboration. Um, I'm definitely trying to position myself in a way to appeal to other brands and personalities um, who might enjoy my work and see that I'm an artist on multiple platforms and my aesthetic can be taken in different directions. I'd say it's a mix of quality and qu over quantity. Um, Definitely I would align myself with other artists and brands who have a similar vibe or just creative energy behind them. Um, and if I truly believe in their product or their personality or their service and what they can offer or bring to the table, um, I think it makes way for a great relationship to really evolve um, where it's mutually beneficial uh, for both sides. So this uh, hustle piece, is a part of a new series um, and these are quotes, mantras, sayings uh, that are important to me. Um, yeah, I think it speaks for itself. This is um, a constant reminder that anytime I'm in the studio, I'm here to hustle, I'm here to work. Um, just kind of put all this together into something meaningful. I feel like we're all trying to make statements, but in different ways. Um, I've been trying to make this statement for, let's say six years now, um, when I started a t-shirt line uh, called Encourage Life Originality. Uh, that's what ELO stands for. Um, so right now my lane is I'm just trying to inspire other people to follow their dreams uh, and chase their goals and really, um, if a door doesn't present itself, make your own door, make your own lane, go find people to work with and really fashion yourself to live how you see yourself um, and how you can really live. Um, I'd say definitely I, myself included, we're all 
a work in progress um, and it's just a journey that we're all going towards. Um, I don't know what the destination is, but it's the process that's really been fun. Um, when I first picked up a can or paint, I never would have thought that I'd have a solo show in New York. Um, so it's really just the evolution of my work in itself from my early works. Um, I'm surprised with myself and I can only imagine how it's going to be in two to five years from now um, as I'm just still trying to grow and be inspired by other people in my surroundings. Um, so I'm definitely excited about the journey and the process. So Elo is just a childhood nickname um, that I had um, from my own name, E and then Lorberbaum, like J-Lo. Um, but I wanted to fashion it into something that actually made sense um, for the platform that I'm trying to build. Um, so that's where I came up with the acronym uh, Encourage Life Originality um, to basically inspire people to live their own truth. Um, almost if you can live with tunnel vision, um, just really work on building your own brand or your own career or um, just kind of make happen whatever you want to happen. Um, it's obviously harder than just saying that, but with dedication and obviously giving certain parts of your life up, um, I think I don't think it's for everyone by any means, but if people are truly pushed and determined, I think we can all achieve our wildest dreams. Most of the time, um, I have in the back of my mind of where I want my brand to be and where I can see my work evolving to. Um, so that just motivates me to get into the studio, turn on the music, look around in my work and the world that I've created um, and just kind of think that why not keep pushing this forward? Um, I don't know where it's going, but um, I know where it's been. Um, where at NYU I was painting, it's hard to describe, um, well I'd be painting on the streets, um, but I had a little nook or corner where homeless people used to sleep. That's where I set up my easel and I was painting. Um, and it was fun and I'd have people stop and maybe take a picture um, to now fast forward next month on building towards this uh, gallery show where I'm aiming to show 40 pieces or more um, of just different works on canvas, mixed media, steel. Um, it's just exciting about the process to really see where it's gone, where it's come from, and where it could potentially go. This is uh, one of my favorite pieces here. Um, so this is uh, spray paint on a fiberglass skull. Um, this is titled uh, Forever Young. Um, so this just kind of incorporates, um, I don't know, I mean it's memento mori, but it's also the liveliness of the work. Um, just has this raw energy to it. Um, I also wear this on my chain. Um, so this is a reminder of death, but not in the bleak or negative sense, but really that our time is limited here. So I'm really just trying to make the most out of it. I was very um, fortunate to have been reached out by uh, Zoe uh, from Tambaran 2 Gallery. Um, she just DM me saying that she enjoyed my work and uh, invited me to have a conversation to learn more about their programming. Um, and I could have easily just brushed it off um, or not even read it by mistake. Um, but I'm happy I saw it, took the opportunity to meet with her, learn more about the gallery. Um, it's been fun to uh, put, the, put the ball in um, the wheels in motion um, to really build uh, towards this show that I'm excited to premiere on uh, April 5th.
how does music play a part of all of this? Um, so I don't play guitar, actually. Um, I quit after a couple lessons, unfortunately. Um, just, this one wasn't for me, but I'm friends with a bunch of musicians, um, so I just wanted to translate my work into this medium. So this is a unique piece um, on a painted, uh, refurbished uh, guitar. Um, so this is uh, spray paint on a silver tone base. Um, does play, I just can't play it. Um, yeah, looking for that someone um, who's obviously a music enthusiast, um, who collects, who will play, but, um, but it's definitely for an art piece. I really started this kind of creative path um, around 19 or 20, um, so after high school. So if I really had high school um, to be creating like this, I think it would have been interesting to see. Um, but I'm definitely happy with where I'm at. Um, so I would tell my younger self, um, it's all about delayed gratification. Um, I, I would say this show's been seven years in the works. Um, from when I first picked up a can um, till this day right now. Um, so yeah, I'd say um, just keep working and uh, you never know what could happen. Once you identify, I guess, what your passions are or what your goals may be, um, just to really live your truth and really try not to care about others' opinions in that sense. Um, yeah, it's really, there's too much noise out there to really give and take and bend with everyone's preconceived notions or opinions of you. Um, but if you can take the outside noise in stride, but really still in your core, just know you're developing yourself. Um, I think that's really important just to stay in your lane um, and just keep creating. Um, keep documenting, keep networking, just be out in the scene, um, wherever that scene may be for you, but um, just to still keep making those efforts um, to strive towards your goals. So these are my babies, my passion project. This is What the NYC. Um, there's a chance you've probably seen me around New York City uh, carrying these sneakers and talking to some people for some strange reason. Um, this is a uh, public art project that I started um, and have been continuing to grow. This is a custom uh, one of one project that I did with uh, Relevant Customs and Goodwood NYC. Um, so this basically incorporates my raw painted canvas on one of the panels here as well as custom printed uh, New York City themed leather. Um, so this basically ties in my love to New York, um, almost paying homage to it, where I'm integrating myself into the different elements and how I relate to the city. So this is the Metro card, a subway map, uh, New York Times, Metro card, crime scene tape, pizza box, lotto tickets, and then crosswalk on the bottom. Um, so with this project through social media, I've been talking with everyday New Yorkers, as well as athletes, musicians, actors, other celebrities, um, as well as everyday people, and just trying to get their two cents about New York and why they love it so much. Um, so in that sense, I've been able to connect the everyday New Yorker with some of the city's most famous icons, um, like CC Sabathia. Spike Lee, um, just to name a few. Um, so this has been a fun project that has incorporated my artwork into the city. I'm appreciative, I guess, that I don't have FOMO or the fear of missing out where I'm in my studio on a Saturday night um, because I truly love it. Um, 
and I'd say as I'm not drinking or smoking um, for coming up on uh, six years now that my own just drive and mentality um, has definitely been uh, impacted for the better. Um, so that's something I'm definitely um, conscious of and just appreciative that I've had this grind for what feels like a while, but in the long term, it's really a short amount of time. Um, so I'm just always keeping in the back of my head to uh, keep up this spirit and um, mentality of just always pushing forward. This is basically just all the different uh, paints, tools, and materials. Here uh, for this steel series, this is the raw steel I'm working with. Um, so these are uh, plates that we source that have uh, soldered edges. So here I'm working with uh, different acrylics, oils, and spray paint. Yeah, different uh, tools. Um, I actually rarely use brushes, uh, which is unique, I think. So I go for uh, palette knives. Um, so just different um, sizes and um, that just can give me different ways to play around. Squeegees are fun. Um, this is how I'm getting uh, these sharp borders that I like to finish all my pieces with. I can also really blend um, acrylic and oils together with this that give it a cool um, texture to it. So I really like using uh, acetone um, with Montana. Um, which you'll see on the Steel series, um, really blends in these uh, paints together. Um, if it's acrylic into oil to give it uh, different effects and uh, finishes. So one thing that's important for me is um, just the pulling back and peeling of layers. about my studio being outside of the city. Um, although I love the hustle and chaoticness and just energy of the city, um, it's really nice just to get away um, 
and enjoy nature um, and just be at peace with the quiet. Um, and I definitely draw some in inspiration with that. So this is definitely a special place for me where I just like to um, conduct my thoughts, uh, enjoy nature. It helps me uh, take a moment to um, just be grateful uh, for everything, um, just to enjoy the moment. Easier said than done, but I really try not to question myself um, in the sense that, all right, it's Saturday night and I'm in my studio. Am I just wasting my time? Like, should I be going out? What's this all really going towards? Um, I don't know the answers right now, but it feels good just trying to find out um, where I'm surrounded by all of this work. And in the end, I'm gonna know, was it really worth it? Um, and I have this gut feeling right now that the answer is yes. Um, and I'm just excited to see. Um, definitely I've had certain stepping stones in my career at this point. Um, but this solo show is definitely, um, I feel like definitely putting myself on the map in that sense. Um, to be taken more seriously um, as an emerging artist in the city, um, which is in itself developing my own uh, personal brand. Um, so that's definitely something I would recommend towards other creatives where um, if you feel like you should be doing it, just go out and do it. <laughs>